LeBron wowed fans and critics with his performance in Trainwreck back in 2015. And now we bring you Trainwreck 2. No, yes, maybe. I mean, come on. This locker room has the capacity to be just as funny, at least, as that movie. Lance Stevenson, JaVale McGee, you've got Rajon Rondo in there. What do you think, Byron? Could this be well, must-see cinema? First of all, it ain't going to happen. Train wreck two is not going to happen because of two reasons. Number one, LeBron James will not allow it to happen with those guys. And number two, Magic Johnson sure in the hell won't let it happen. No train wreck two. I love how we got Jello Ball somehow involved yeah, in this. Yeah, yeah, I, You know, we're very X creative here at the, the jump. The Lakers <laughs> drafting and Stock anointing Lonzo side. Ball as the face of the franchise. But now it appears they have a point guard competition. I just mentioned Rajon Rondo signing with the club, and a source close to Ball told The Athletic, Zoe's ready to compete, plain and simple. The Athletic reporting that this was a move to stop coddling Lonzo. Byron, do you think that it's going to work? And do you think Ron Mission Joe and Lonzo can coexist? Well, I think they can coexist, but I, I love the fact that they said stop cuddling him. And the other thing is the, the kid gets hurt a lot. So now you got an experienced guy in Rondo who can come in, run the team. We know he's, his, his basketball IQ is off the chart, and the kid is tough. And he's always been a tough guy. And I think those are the type of guys LeBron likes. So I think this was a great move. Uh, the only, you know, obviously they're on the down you know, downward spiral that can, that can happen with him is he can't make shots on a consistent basis. And when you have LeBron James, you have to have shooters on the floor. So this is going to shrink the floor a little bit for, the, for LeBron James and some of the other Lakers. You know, I think, Rachel, while we all know that there's not a shooting, a great shooting team here, what I'm seeing is two things develop. Number one, we've got a good defensive team. Whether you have Lonzo or Rondo out there, you got guys who can defend. That's a positive in this. Number two, um, I think what you're seeing here is maybe LeBron being willing to change his game a little bit play a little bit more off the ball. Now, do I believe LeBron will play off the ball in a close game at the end of the, uh, you know, when, when, it, when it matters in the middle of the season? That's another conversation altogether. But I think what you're seeing here is the Lakers making moves to enable LeBron to have to have fewer minutes as the point guard, which essentially he had to play all of last year. So let's just see how they finish this roster and let's see what LeBron has to say about it and what Magic has to say about it. And I think we'll get some of that information soon. I mean, look, I understand what you're saying about defense, Brian. This team has guys who have defended well at certain points of their career. But if you look at the defensive numbers overall, it's not, I mean, these are not the Pistons of, of yore. Well, I mean, this is that, what, not what, that kind of defense. One of the things that I think LeBron ex explained to Magic when they talked was when they played the Warriors last year and they had Kyle Korver on the court, they really couldn't switch with him. When you have Lance Stevenson on the court, you can switch with him. And I think LeBron likes that, that profile of player. You can switch with a guy like Lonzo. You can switch with a guy like Rondo. Um, I think that's the kind of player that LeBron wants to play with. Now, whether or not LeBron is willing to stick with that throughout the course of the season and whether or not they can get enough offense out of a lineup that includes LeBron off the ball more, that's a different conversation altogether. But that's what we're going to be watching and finding out with the Lakers. And, and Byron, you know, it's not only up to LeBron. Luke has to manage all these personalities. He's still a young, on the young side for a coach in the NBA. In fact, he and LeBron were drafted together in the same draft class. And it'll work if LeBron really can feel comfortable playing off the ball more, as Brian says. And also, if some of these guys who have been known to fall apart at different times on different teams don't fall apart. So how does he do that? Well, again, I think he's going to have to use LeBron... Uh, in, in a number of different ways. Uh, he's got to use that, that, that IQ that he has as far as getting to, getting to some of these guys and make sure that everybody stays on the same page. And, and I'm with Brian as far as when he says LeBron's going to be off the ball a little bit more. I think one of the things that Irving wants is he wants all these guys to be interchangeable. He wants to be able to put out a lineup or Luke, have Luke have the opportunity and the ability to put out lineups that where all five guys are interchangeable and they can all switch different positions. And that's hard to do when you, when you have guys like Kyle Culver. So, you know, I, I see what he's trying to do with this lineup. And he's also putting guys in there. that they, they're, There's some tough guys in there. they got some mean guys. You know, they play the game uh, very, very physical. So it's going to be interesting. But I like what I've seen so far.